my cock hole, a come on mighty curtain call from a distance, a program of reviews, previews, interviews, and features of and or with the great art and artists on Maui and beyond. I'm Paul James Brown, and I'm coming to you from my home office, where I have been conscientiously practicing self-isolation. Adaptations Dance Theater, Maui's professional dance company, was scheduled to perform in one of the Maui Arts and Cultural Center's Live at the Max series this past Saturday. Unfortunately, that performance was postponed. A statement from the Max said, quote, we deeply regret that due to spiking COVID-19 outbreak numbers and heightened regulations, we feel it would be irresponsible at this time to broadcast any content that may exemplify or promote persons being maskless and not socially distanced. Particularly difficult is that this performance was previously recorded and adhered to all guidelines at that time with no adverse repercussions. This beautiful performance by Adaptation Dance Theater will be broadcast at a later date. Please stay safe, wear your mask, and remain socially distant, and stay tuned." Unquote. ADT did produce another video that was the result of a brilliant concept they turned into a fundraiser. They asked donors to come up with a word or phrase or a favorite quote. They scaled the amount of the contribution based on the number of words. Then the company's artistic director, Hallie Hunt, assigned the words to company members and left it to them to interpret them into movement as they felt so inspired. Ms. Hunt also chose the music, which was put in after the works were videoed and performed by each of the dancers. 11 dancers plus an ADT class participated in this project, recording their respective dance words in a manner and location of their choosing. Then Ms. Hunt and Katie Istvan synthesized the dance phrases together. They wanted to, quote, illustrate how a donor's support builds the foundation from which the dancer has the stability and freedom to create. The result was five dance films from 33 donors. The phrases, words, or quotes they were inspired by are not shared with the viewer. ADT Executive Director Jen Cox explained, quote, the artistic decision was made to not include the words with the movement because it would have inevitably interfered visually in some cases and potentially not made sense in others because of how the editing was done, unquote. The five dances take about 13 minutes and one wishes they were longer. The movements by these outstanding dancers are creative, exciting, and mesmerizing. The locations are as varied as the movement, but they all have one thing in common, unparalleled beauty. Film one is done by Ms. Hunt, Ms. Isvan, and Julia Cost to the familiar La Paloma by Andre Verschuren. This one is the most humorous of them all, opening with feet in high heels. Then we see Ms. Hunt getting doused with a powdery substance and drenched with water. Next, Ms. Isvan becomes the table at a mad tea party. Now we pan across a clothesline that looks more like a closet to see an unknown dancer standing on her head in a bucket. Then Ms. Cost jumps up and down as pointy party hats rain down upon her, and we see her fishing with a frying pan and spatula in her hand, and finally we see her paddling like crazy in a box with a paper hat on. Then there is this animation drawing bees. It's a fun, very short one. Dance 2 features Ms. Hunt, an unnamed dog, and New York dancer and company member Nathaniel Hunt, moving to Promise by Ben Howard. This is a piece that takes full advantage of the intimacy of the moment with Ms. Hunt performing various movements on a couch with her dog and Mr. Hunt, no relation, choosing to interpret these donor-inspired words, phrases, or quotes in his bed. Film 3 has the biggest cast. It includes Maddie McGain, the ADT workshop students, Kelsey Greenway, Randy Longzaga, Emily McKeon, and Katie Cox. And they are moving to Umrica by Dustin O'Halloran. We see the students in the outer lobby of the EAL Theater moving independently together. Then Ms. Greenway is on North Market Street in Wailuku. Next, we travel across the Pacific to Newport Beach, California, where Emily McKeon performs on the street. The piece closes with some dramatic movement by Katie Cox. Film four starts out with Miss Isvan in black and white at the old Maui High School in Hamakua Poco. This piece is done to the evocative music of Colleen holding horses. 
I'm just going to let the music play and show you some images from this spectacular dance by Ms. Isvan and Ms. Hunt and let them speak for themselves to you. The final film in this brilliant series features ADT's executive director Jen Cox with Alana Anderson, Katie Cox, Yasmin Linskog, and Ms. Hunt and Ms. Istfen. This one is the most complex of all. It opens with Jen Cox on Haleakala. We see several of the dancers at sunset in what I believe is a cooler field. Ms. Cox runs up a road and performs in a barren forest. Alana Anderson has a highly reflective moment on the lower slopes of upcountry. Ms. Istvan has a lunar moment in a field, and Katie Cox moves in Haiku as the Pacific looms in the background. Then we are in the forest where Yasmin Linskog communes with the assigned words, and Ms. Istvan reflects with what appears to be a fantastic lake behind her. And we conclude at sunset in Kula with Jen Cox, Ms. Istvan, and finally Ms. Hunt. This is all done to Max Richter's On Reflection. Ms. Hunt and Ms. Isfen get the credit for editing these films, and from what I saw, they could have a second career. These are excellent in every way possible, and I highly encourage you to go to Vimeo and put this link in and see for yourself. Here's the link, https colon forward slash forward slash vimeo.com forward slash 5020561571. I believe you will be as impressed as I am. This company is one of the most exciting and creative companies there is, and we should do everything we can to support their work. After you see this exceptional work, go to https colon forward slash forward slash www.adaptationstancetheater.com forward slash support number sign donate. Give what you can. We need to make sure this organization doesn't go away. Well, that's Curtain Call from a Distance for this week. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Paul Janes Brown. Ahui ho.